Hey crafty people! Welcome back to my channel and in case you're new here, I'm Sarah, also known as Craft Nerd because I'm a nerd who loves to craft. I do paper crafting, card making, junk journaling, and mixed media art. Let's get crafting! So welcome to Mass Make Monday episode 5 and today we're going to be doing Roxy's Weekly Challenge episode 4 I believe. I'll leave a link to the original video down below. And I'm going to start my timer for 45 minutes and explain to you what we're doing. And then I will explain to you where I have been. Um, so for this challenge, you need uh, just some paper. Uh, it can be printables, book page. You could do scrapbooking paper, but I wouldn't do one that was very, like, a thick, heavy one. You want something thinner because we're going to be doing a bunch of folds. Um, and the thicker paper tends not to love that. So... I've got a bunch of printables. These are by Giggle Glitter, GFX, Fabby Art Studio, Angela Kerr, and Leanna Scraps. And as always, I will leave uh, links in the description to these printables. And so to, oops, let's shift this stuff over so that it's out of my way for a sec. So what you're gonna do is take the paper, and we're creating pockets. So we're gonna fold it in half this way. Then fold it in half the other way. And then you just need to decide which of these, you know, it, it basically creates four, four rectangles, which one you want to be your front. I think I want this guy to be my front. You're going to fold down the corner on what's going to be the front of your pocket. So like so. And then you're going to cut this piece away. And I don't have my scissors handy. I'll be right back. So we're gonna cut down the score line and up this score line. And then what we are gonna do is fold that piece up. And I think I may need to take a little bit more off over here just so that I get more of the score line taken away. Grab my glue. a good shot of my coffee. Boy. <clears throat> so we're going to glue down our little folded triangle. And glue this piece up here. Just make sure get that board down good. I'm just going to put glue here. Now you don't necessarily have to glue this completely down if you want to have an additional pocket. Um, I didn't print this on very heavy printer paper, so I don't think I'm going to turn it into an extra pocket. Um, and then I'm going to glue this guy down. I think before I do that, however, I am going to ink this edge along here to make it stand out more. I'm going to use tea dye because I think my vintage photo is across the room, but there's dark stuff on this one, probably scorched timbers. Oh, so it's coming out rather dark anyway. And now I'm just going to glue down here and along here. And so now we've got a pocket here 
And I'm probably gonna have to trim along here just because that did not line up perfectly when I folded. So there you go. And so we've got a pocket. So fairly uh, easy to make. And so we're just going to make a bunch of these. Um, and I actually was testing out and pre-folded one because I wanted to try making a pocket going this way instead of this way. So I think all the ones Rachel did went this way on a page. And this might be a little wide, may need some trimming off when uh, time comes, but for this one, I basically folded everything in half. I folded this down and I think for this one, we're going to cut this square off or rectangle. And I'm just kind of folding it back this way, trying to make the creases a little bit more noticeable. So where have I been for the last week? Oh, I got sick. Um, I came down with the flu on, what was it, the Wednesday, the 31st, of, was it the 31st of, um, January or the 1st of February, around about whatever day that was, I started feeling not great at work and I thought it was just my allergies acting up. Until later that evening, I realized I was running a fever. So apparently, I came down with the flu, and it knocked me um, on my butt. Uh, I ended up taking Thursday, Friday, and Monday off of work. I spent pretty much that entire time on my couch watching TV. Um, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I, I did nothing. Uh, I sat on my couch and vegged out. Um, and let me just tell you, there's a limit to how much vegging out one can do. And I exceeded it. I was so bored. Um. And then Tuesday and Wednesday of this past week, I worked partial days and I just, I had no energy. I was fatigued. Today is the first day I'm feeling mostly normal. And now that I've started to record, I'm starting to feel a little tired again. Um, so I may not be getting as much done today as I had hoped. Um, but that is why there were no videos posted by me last week was because I was sick as a dog. Um, and in fact, Wednesday's video, I did try filming some of it during the week, last week before I was a hundred, like a hundred percent better. So I will probably, um, sound a little bit stuffier on those video, like Wednesday, parts of Wednesday's video. That one is a technique video that I filmed in like six or seven parts. So yeah, I... We're going to see how editing that goes. But, all right, so there's the next one. So, yeah, that is why I did not have any videos posted this past week is because I was just too sick to film. And, you know, what? let's assembly line the rest of these guys and do, it, do all our folding and all of our cutting and then all of our gluing at one time. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I was... A complete vegetable on my couch for like five days straight and let me just tell you I was so very bored towards the end of that I was like I, I and I was soon I'm like I want to craft there's crafting I want to do and I just did not have the energy to do it I mean I would get up and like get myself something to eat you know like as in toss some food in the microwave and just doing that, I was like, okay, I'm going to go sit on my couch for a, for a couple hours now because I'm too tired to do anything else. So, yeah, it was definitely no fun at all. Um, and I, I definitely hit 
the okay I'm sick of sitting on my couch phase of things on the upside I did manage to finish watching I've been re-watching the Gilmore Girls on Netflix um, and there are seven seasons and I think about the time I got sick I had watched uh, part of season five up to part of season five well I polished off the rest of the Gilmore Girls and then watched the four-part Year in the Life Gilmore Girl special series. <clears throat> and then started on The Witcher. Because I... Season three has been out, I think, for a little while now. And it was one of those... I watched the recap and I'm like, I don't remember any of this. Okay, let's just start watching it from the beginning. So... I started re-watching The Witcher as well. Oh, and I did catch up on... Actually, I may have caught up on uh, my RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16 um, before I moved on to watching The Witcher. So that's pretty much what I did for like five days straight. I watched TV. Um, So yeah, I, and I'm pretty sure, cause, cause I am, you know, I work from home, so I don't go out of my house all that often. And so, well, I took my dad, you know, two weeks ago now, almost, we went to the Lord of the Rings in concert, which I know I've mentioned before, which was fantastic. Um, we both thoroughly enjoyed it. The next one come is coming out in August, so I need to, uh get our tickets for that but I'm pretty sure this must have been where I picked up the buck because the only thing else I did prior to getting sick was I went to the grocery store I think on that Monday so pretty pretty sure it was Lord of the Rings that um did me in but yeah no the Lord of the Rings in concert was amazing um and if you haven't seen my previous videos where I mention this and the plans to go see it um what they do is they remove the mu movie soundtrack the music from the film and you have the your local orchestra philharmonic whatever it's called um perform the music for the movie and with the lord of the rings there's actually you know singing at various parts so they actually had a choir at the very back of the stage and they had a singer for there were a couple actual full-on songs with vocals um so they had a singer perform those and it was fantastic um, plus you know the lord of the rings movie is a, a most excellent movie so you get to you you get the enjoyment of the um, musical performance plus getting to watch a really great movie. All right. So now I need to just decide for each of these what I want as my pocket. I think I want those flowers as the pocket. And then this becomes one of those things. Decide how big of a pocket you want and just fold over that angle. Um, I'm gonna do that one. Uh, let's not do them all going the same way. Let's do this one going that way. So yeah, you can go all the way over to the edge and create a bigger pocket. So this, you can vary your pocket size however you want. Do that one. So I was just thinking about this because I'm like, okay, when that gets cut off and that gets folded up, we'll have this bit showing behind the pocket, which will make sense, I suppose, when we do all the cutting. So for this one, I'm going to do a shallower pocket. Um, so we have more of that showing.
just trying to decide what I want showing. Let's do this. And this one doesn't really matter. Let's do this one. I think let's do this one as a bigger pocket. Alright, now we're just going to go through and do all of our cutting. And yeah, I'm probably not going to be as chatty today as I usually am during the mass make videos, just because I am still recovering. <clears throat> trying to see where I need to cut and I think there I think that doing that folding it over this way so I can get a better cut So this weekend is uh, Super Bowl Sunday, I believe, um, here in the U.S. So does, do any of you have uh, Super Bowl Sunday plans? I do not. In fact, I plan on watching the Puppy Bowl, not the Super Bowl, which is on uh, Animal Planet, I believe. And it's, you know, cute puppies. So, yeah, I am not a sports person. The only sport I actually like at all is hockey. So I will not be watching the Super Bowl. I have no interest in the Super Bowl. I barely know who's playing in the Super Bowl. But I do enjoy watching Puppy Bowl on Animal Planet. And I, of course, vote for whichever team has a beagle on it. Last one.
I am just looking for a dauber that isn't quite so dark brown so that I can ink these edges uh, with a lighter shade than the other ones. And this is, this is not a brown. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna stop messing about and just go ahead and use this one. It's a little tea dye to ink the edges. And this one. And it's a lot easier to ink your um, pocket fold if you do it before you do your gluing. Let's go ahead and glue down the corners. Glue this down. Now I'm using um, art glitter glue. You of course can use whatever glue you prefer for doing these sorts of projects. Um, Glue stick would be great here if, you know, I liked glue stick. <clears throat> Let's grab... blue on the edges of this and distressed oxide uh, broken china now of course in the edges is optional I just think it helps the pocket stand out uh, way better against since you're folding it against itself um depending on what patterns on your paper you may not be able to see your pocket very well i know there was at least one um when rachel did the video where you could hardly see that she had folded over a corner for a pocket on it because of um how the patterns matched up so Gonna add a little more glue there because you don't want it sticking up or stuff might that you put in the pocket might stick to it. the green I'm going to use some shabby shutters I think I had blue on my fingers because I got a little bit blue on here, but that's okay. We can um, cover that up when we decorate.
get two more to glue. And then we can probably get at least one decorated, maybe more. And again, I apologize for being so quiet today. But I am definitely still recovering a little bit. Like, I'm much better than I was, but I'm, start I'm starting to feel tired. <laughs> um, and definitely chatting a lot when you've had... Um, a cough and congestion, not, not always the best route to go. Which I will do my best to um, edit out any coughing and sniveling on the video. Oh, I think I mentioned at the top of the video, you may notice that my, um, the white silicone mat I usually have on my desk is missing. You can actually see my desk. Um, yeah, I had a bit of a play with my, um, jelly plate because, yeah, when I was starting to feel a little bit better during the week, one evening, I'm like, I just need to, I just need to get my fingers inky. So I pulled out my gel plate and had a bit of a play. And I put the gel plate directly on my silicone mat. Oops, did I not? I did not ink that edge. Um, what I'm gonna do is just tuck a piece of paper in to make sure I don't get ink where I don't want ink. And kind of run it up along the side there like that. So if you forget or decide later on you wanna ink, that is a good way to avoid getting ink on there is tuck something in and ink your edge. <clears throat> but as I said, I put my gel plate directly on my um, silicone mat, and my silicone mat did not like that at all. It's like bubbled up and has this weird bubble in the center of it that will not flatten out. I'm very upset by this because I'm like, okay, so that's basically ruined. So if you get a gel plate and you have a silicone mat, do not put your gel plate directly on your silicone mat. The first time I had to play with it, I left it on, like, the plastic piece that the plate came sandwiched between, um, and so I didn't have it directly on the mat. That worked much better, but yeah, directly on the mat. It's got this weird bubble in it, so I haven't yet decided what I want to do replacement-wise, whether I want to get another silicone mat or whether I want to get... Um, I'm going to start with decorating this guy. <clears throat> the Tim Holtz um, has that mat to cover his glass mat, um, like the media mat. And I was like, I think I may want to give that a go. I might get that and try that out. So I haven't decided yet what's going big. See, that'll cover the blue smudge. I need something to go along there. I'm just pulling out my various binders with <clears throat> bits and bobs in them. Uh, this is uh, Apertique, I believe. I want a label, I think. Uh. 
be right back for something else. Clearly it's not as well organized as I should have been for this video. Um, so these are labels die cut using the Tim Holtz Distress Labels die, I think is what it's called. Then what I'm gonna do is grab Hmm. Don't like that, but I like the idea of that. So if that makes any sense. <laughs> I didn't love the the stamp that I had but I think I'm gonna pull out a stamp and stamp something along the label um, All right, I have grabbed The Dressmaker by Creative Expressions, and the stamp is The Dressmaker. Thought that fit, because this is gonna go for the sewing journal, and I'm gonna use Victorian Velvet. And hopefully get a good stamped image. I can tell looking at it, I'm like, it's not gonna stamp very well, I don't think. Here, let me try a scrap piece and see how it stamps. Eh, let me, what I need is Victorian Velvet uh, Distress Oxide. That should stamp better with the acrylic stamp. Hold on, let me go grab that. I'm definitely a little rusty today. <clears throat> right, that should definitely stamp better. Yes. And I want to ink the edges. Just being careful not to stick my fingers into what I just stamped. And I am going to grab... Grab something else. <laughs> I've grabbed distress ink in antique linen so that I can ink around the edges of 
this piece um, just to knock back the white because I didn't fully cut out all the little bits around that part of this piece. And find a little bit of antique linen does the job. That right there. That'll go there. And I want one more thing. I've got a bit of cheesecloth that I dyed with um, Victorian velvet ink. I'm going to cut a little piece of that off to put behind here. Grab my fabric tag for that. Crunch it up a little bit. Go do this on. I'm just using the fabric tac because it's going over the cheesecloth. Put a little bit more down here just to get that down. There we go. So there's one fully decorated and we've got about five minutes left. So I think we might be able to decorate one more. this guy. It's definitely going to need something behind it to make it stand out more. That. Um, that's my porch prints and that's um, Giggle Glitter GFX, I believe. I'm just looking for something to put them on.
I need something else on there. And that down there. Um, that's this is from Chevy Dabba Dee Dee Dab. That's a Opa online. Um, and I definitely want something over there, and I think I want something round. <clears throat> That's not the right color. I need to move it along. We're almost out of time. I think I may have a round one in here. I think that will work. And that and that yes although I'm gonna add some ink to this little shabby shutters with a little antique linen. Okay, do the edges of the stamp with yellow. And these guys will just get a little bit of brown. one I'm like I know it's a vintage piece that um she used for this but it exposed white slave traffic which is why I'm mostly covering that up because that's one of those pieces I'm like I just don't I don't get why you would put that in a kit oh we are out of time if it will let me stop okay um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this up by gluing these bits down Let's put our floral piece on. And we'll do our little B. I will stick that on the on there. Like so. stamp like so didn't exactly put that or get that on straight but that's okay close enough all right so what we got done today is we assembled one two three four five six pockets well and seven and eight and got two decorated 
So that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please do all the things that lets YouTube know you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment down below. Thanks for joining me and happy crafting.